Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with the Daily Market Insight for Wednesday, the 3rd of May. All right, now, some cheeky moves from some of the central banks. The RBA surprise uh, rate hike yesterday really got uh, me unawares. Uh, I still think they've made a bit of a bad decision here, but only time will tell. It really sets us up because we are starting to see some individual moves from various central banks, right, contrary to what the Fed is doing or are expected to do. So the RBA moved. The RBNZ obviously surprised rate hike last month. The Kiwi employment numbers came out this morning a little bit stronger than expected. Already seeing the Kiwi stock market drift lower, okay, suggesting potentially if the data keeps riding high in New Zealand, we'll see higher rates. Now, one, one trade we've got here, retail sales, right? This is usually a high impacting data. This is in Australia. Now, the numbers here, well, we had the RBA yesterday. They're sort of giving us a bit of a, guide to what's going on. This will tell us if they've made the right decision. If if the retail sales figures uh, have fallen off the face of the earth, well, I'll tell you what, they've made a bad choice and uh, they'll have to sort of think about that next month. But if we see really strong numbers, well, which I don't think we will, then you, it, it confirms that RBA was correct. So this is a, a real examination straight away on the RBA's decision yesterday. So keep an eye on that. I, I still think the... Aussie market's a little bit overdone, okay, and a little bit cooked on these recent hikes. So we'll see how that plays out. Now, obviously, the main uh, data attraction or the main release is the Fed interest rate decision. And you've got the press conference, okay, expected to raise by 0.25%. Now, this is where things get a little bit interesting because I mentioned this about a week ago, and it was sort of something that came up. Remember when the uh, story around the first, um, oh, what was it the First Republic? I just click into this story. The First Republic, one of the big regional banks that was um, under pressure, right? Now, I can tell you what, they are no Robinson Crusoe. All these banks are either owned or subsidiaries of the big banks, and they are seriously under pressure, right? The KBW Regional Banking Index fell 5.5%. There's a huge amount of pressure on regional banks, and I expect them to see, see them tumble. That'll be a snowfall, snowball effect where they all sort of tumble. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, that's been pushing the equity markets down, okay? S&P, the Dow Jones Index getting hammered on the, the outlooks for regional banks, you know, the uncertainty there. Then we've got the, the Fed raising interest rates, right? So if there is, if all these regional banks do come under pressure, which I'm sure as hell they will, then that's going to be a liquidity crunch, right? Lending and all this sort of stuff in the US gets tighter and tighter. That's like an interest rate hike. So it's going to be interesting to see what how the Fed deals with this. Uh, 0.25 expected. I don't think they can walk away from that. But, you know, the RBA did something weird. I, I don't rule out the Fed. So that's where we are fundamentally. It's a little bit gray, a little bit mixed, right? As I said, there's a few opportunities here to trade a few different instruments, uh, short term, like just looking across the global index, oil is the big mover, right? We're starting to see some positions cleaned out on oil and that that has impacts as well, right? Across, obviously, across uh, dollar CAD, but across a various number of uh, equity indices, uh, oil companies, et cetera. So what we're seeing is we're seeing volatility on the equity markets. I don't think anyone really knows what's going on. To me, looking at the FX market, it's a little bit easier to sort of, see what's happening, right? And there's a bit of discombobulation here. The dollar index, okay, it's a little bit higher, right? So dollar's going up, right? Which means euro should be going down, which it is. It's just broken outside that range once again. Sterling dipping back down towards support. Now, this is the odd one out, right? You've got Aussie and Kiwi. Well, they're going up, okay? The same as the dollar index. So Aussie and Kiwi don't make a lot of sense just at the moment. Now, what I'm looking for is potentially with the retail sales figures today come out weak. Well, it goes with their their big brothers, Euro and Sterling, to the downside, right? I still I still can't see Aussie going up. But so dollars going up, dollar Swiss going up, dollar yen going up, and obviously dollar cab. Well, it's going up here short term, and we are seeing oil, as I said, uh, start to fall, which goes with the higher dollar cad, right? So. The dollar is correct. Just be aware, Aussie and Kiwi are out of whack with everything else. And that's because their central banks and data are doing somewhat different things. All right. So when I come back and I'm just focusing on today's releases, okay, well, I've already uh, missed the Kiwi data. 
And that's sort of no big deal, but just keep an eye on this. We've got the ECB coming up. Don't forget the Fed interest rate decision, 0.25. Keep an eye on that. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the um, coming into today, I think it's a little sneaky on the Aussie. Okay, the Aussie crosses could be something to work with here, not just the uh, against the dollar. Uh, I'm looking for weak numbers, okay, because I think the, the RBA has done the right thing, uh, or the wrong thing, I should say. The um, anyway, that's where we are. The uh, you got some some other US numbers coming out, but you know what? The uh, they aren't going to do a lot until the Fed. We get the answers from the Fed, and don't forget this is this is not going to be an easy situation. As I just outlined, we are seeing you know mixed news. Equities, US equities, are getting hit on the back of uh, the regional concerns around. You know, are these regional banks going to survive? I tell you what, they've they've tied up debt since 08, 09, the global financial crisis. I wouldn't be surprised to see a big splatter of all these banks, right? They're hiding a lot of debt and uh, the markets are only just starting to find out where, where that all is, what it means for us. I'm not totally sure at the moment, but if you look at the markets up here and uh, if I just come back to the global markets, get back on here. What we're seeing is not necessarily a discombobulation, but more historical markets, US equities getting hit and the dollar getting hit, right? This is how it used to be in the old days. Instead of a risk on risk off play, uh, that's exactly what we're seeing. The uh, So just keep an eye on that because if you're looking on the sort of new age risk on risk off environment where equities get hit and the euro sterling Aussie go down, well, it's not working, right? So look for different things. Obviously, commodities are... Uh, under the pump, the uh, and look for where the answers are. That Kiwi data this morning, employment numbers, Kiwi equity is getting belted, right? They're, they're sort of almost factoring in interest rate, more interest rate hikes in New Zealand. And that's what you're sort of following the trail of. ECB Thursday, plenty to play for. Just be careful of what the Fed doing because I, I really have no idea what they're actually going to be talking about because they've got to be managing expectations around these regional banks as well as the expectations of the global market around US inflation, right? That's a tricky as hell. All right, that's it for me, guys. Good luck. Cheerio.